Now let's start our next topic that is simple approach lighting system according to NX 14 volume 1 uh, the simple approach lighting system shall be provided for any runway that is non Prisian approach however the exceptions are made for the runways with good visibility conditions and if they are guided sufficiently by other visual aids as well according to ICAO NX 14 it is also recommended that SALS should be provided for non instrumental runway where the runway will be used at night and the code is 3 or 4. Moving on toward the installation and location of a simple approach lighting system, the simple approach lighting system would consist of row of lights on extended center line till 420 meters at least, then a crossbar of either 18 meters or 30 meters at 300 meter of center line would be provided at right angle to center line lights. If Let's say 420 meter length of center line is not practicable. Then center line would be provided till 300 meters. Even if 300 meters is not practicable, then it shall be provided as far as it is practicable. However, if the length of center line is reduced from 420 meter, the center line would then consist of Barrett system that should be 3 meters in length and an additional crossbar may be provided at 150 meters. Moving on towards the characteristics of simple approach lighting system, it would consist of fixed lights with distinguishable colors and center line may consist of either single light source as told earlier or Barrett system with 3 meter in length and having an internal spacing of 1.5 meters. If an internal spacing of Barrett is 1.5 meters, that means total 3 lights would use to make 1 Barrett of 3 meter. However, according to Kao NX14, 4 meters Barrett is also advisable. Why? Because if you think that your aerodrome would be upgraded to CAT1 or CAT2 approach lighting system, in that case you will be needing the Barrett of 4 meter. So in advance, if you will install the Barrett of 4 meter, that would be highly beneficial. Uh, gaps in the center line lights would be 60 meters or 30 meters, depending upon what kind of visibility you require and 30 meter crossbar may be provided with gaps not more than 6 meter. This gap is actually between the center line and the crossbar. And the spacing of crossbar lights would be 1 to 4 meters. Moreover, to increase the uh, visibility or to increase the guidance, sequence flasher is also recommended uh, in case the identification of uh, you know runway is uh, difficult. Uh, I hope uh, that was easy to understand. Uh, stay tuned for further.